Today we're taking a little bit of a break from uh, working on the Caprice to take care of a, another issue. The car is just about ready for paint. Uh, let me show you the car here. Got it all in sealer. I've been wet sanding it down. It's just about ready for paint. But the problem is in this garage, there's bugs and dust and dirt and it's hot. Uh, I keep dripping on the car when I'm painting, uh, dripping sweat and that just ain't gonna work. Oh, here. We painted this, this is the color the car is gonna be. I went ahead and painted this for a test sample. Yeah, it's gonna look nice. I'll probably turn that into a lamp and give it to, give it to the owner with the car, that way he'll have a matching lamp. So what we're doing today is I'm gonna take all these and build a paint booth in there. So my shop is a 36 by 40, and those are four by eight panels. And what they are is uh, there was a bowling tournament. Well, there you go. Huh. There's a bowling tournament uh, a while back and a friend of ours uh, helped uh, coordinate the tournament. When it was all done, they had all these panels that they were just gonna throw away. So we hauled off like eight trailer loads of these things. So yeah, we're gonna take these and uh, they're four by eight panels. I'm gonna stand them on in, bolt them together for walls. Uh, plan is to make it uh, about a 16 by 28, which I've got plenty of room for in here. Uh, and then I went to Menards and got some lumber. So I'll put uh, some boards across the top to support the walls to each other. And then I got a couple of box fans, some heavy mill plastic to uh, make a roof over the top and a couple filters to blow the fans through so bugs and dirt don't get blown in. And then a buddy of mine's got a 110 air conditioner that uh, he's not using. So I'm gonna mount that in the wall and hopefully have an air conditioned paint booth in order to spray the car in. So. Uh, now the fun part, I gotta clear all this crap out of the way and put up some walls. All right, end of day one of the paint booth. We got all the walls put up. It's hotter than hell out here too. We were dripping sweat, it was nasty. Let me flip it around and show you here. So now when you come in the door of the garage, there's a wall, which is the wall of the paint booth. But I still got room to get to my workbench and toolbox work around it i got some cleanup to do here so you come around the corner and boom paint booth these are those bowling alley panels that they were going to throw away so we snagged them up and now they are making a paint booth so they they were uh, a couple of them were like this is a two by eight so i put two by eights on either end just to kind of give a little stability side to side on the wall. And then these others were four by eight panels. And my middle son, Ethan, helped me out today. And we screwed them together. And then I went back through, drilled holes, and bolted them with five sixteenths uh, bolts and fender washers at each of the seams. So it's nice and sturdy. Then tomorrow, oh, yeah, I put a couple of cross rafters to support the plastic sheeting roof. And I'll put another one back here tomorrow. It'll go across those two. That'll help stiffen this backside and hold the plastic up. And then I'll have a roll up uh, plastic door back here on the back of the booth. And I'll probably make some sort of, I've got some 12 inch ducting, so I'll probably make some way to adapt that 12 inch ducting to vent outward. But the, uh, I bought some box fans from Menards. I'm going to make brackets and uh, household filters and mount them up here at the front, pointing down across this front wall. And then the air will blow down and out the back through the garage door. And I'll probably put filters on it. That way it doesn't you know, keep some of the fumes down for the neighborhood. So that's where we're at with day one. 
a lot of progress and it was hot. We were sweating like crazy. I bet I went through a case of water today. And now it's beer time. Went in, took a shower, nice cold shower, beer time. And tomorrow we'll get back on it, get this paint booth ready so that I can paint the Caprice. Later, y'all. So day two on the paint booth. Uh, I, as you can see, I'm not dressed typical. We just got, today was my birthday. And yesterday was my youngest son, Nicholas's birthday. So we went out to dinner. Uh, of course, I, being a typical man, I worked up right to the last minute where uh, my nephew Kyle came out today and was helping me out with the, the paint booth. And we got a lot done. Knocked out a lot of work. Let me show you. So here we go. Here's the paint booth. We got it all painted. We mounted LED lights. He had to add a little flare. He put his Copenhagen can up there. Uh, so we put LED lights. I can already see that the back of the car is kind of dark. So I'm gonna have to put some lights back here on this back wall to shine this up. But there's quite a bit of lighting in here. We took and cut holes and I put household filters, and I'll show you here in a second, but on the back side, there's some box fans, and those blow fresh air, fresh filtered air, keeps bugs and dirt out. I'm gonna blow it across the booth. The ceiling is all covered in four mil plastic. Stapled up real nice. I got a clock that tells me what the temperature is. Look at that, 87 degrees at 9.17 at night. It's ridiculous. But that way I can watch my flash time on the uh, paint so I know when to do another coat. I don't think this is going to be enough airflow. I think I've got room. I can add two more fans. So I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Try to get some more airflow. And then we got the LEDs on this side. All down along. And then we made a mixing table to mix the paint up. I mounted my paint gun holder. And I'm probably going to put a shelf up so I can get some of this stuff up off here. Obviously, you can see it's going to be kind of hard to mix paint right now. So that's what it's looking like. It fits a, fits a 1970 Caprice pretty well. And I highly doubt I'll be painting anything bigger than that anytime soon. So that's how it is. Let me show you the box, fan, box fans. Here's the back side of the booth. As you can see, the box fans blow through the filters. I've got them bungee corded up there, so when I need to change the filters, I can just pop them down. But like I said, I've got room here and there that I can add. And these things are on sale right now at Menards for, I think I paid with 11% off, like 16 bucks a piece for them. So I'm gonna go get two of those and two more LED lights and light it up a little better in there. We stapled it real good across the top, all the plastic. I'll fill the holes where the cords go through. And there it is, homemade paint booth. I'll, uh, one of these days I'll have to add up the materials, but I mean, obviously the, the wood was free. Like I talked about earlier, the, they were gonna throw those wood panels away. So we grabbed them. Uh, box fans were 16 bucks a piece after 11% off. Filters are like a buck a piece. Uh, clock was 20 bucks. I'd say all in all, paint and everything, lights, probably got three, 300 bucks, three, 400 bucks in it with the plastic and all the lumber, other than of course what was free. But if you had to buy the two buys and everything, You'd probably be looking at another four or five hundred bucks worth of wood. But still under a grand, got a pretty good paint booth. Now the back, for now, I'm going to drape with plastic when I'm painting. I'm just going to staple some plastic and drape it like a curtain. And then run in a 12-inch flexible duct exhaust tube out. But eventually, I think I'm going to build some sort of doors I can close and put filters on those but not too shabby for two days worth of work and a few hundred bucks. So tomorrow's back on the car 
and this weekend should be in color. So we'll be back at you.